cows are here for our benefit. For us to just have this belief that we have authority over every animal in this world, it's like, no. It's kind of fucked up, huh? Yeah. This is New Orleans on a Friday night. I came out to see if I could convince anyone to go vegan. So when I say vegan, like what kind of words come to your mind? My first thought is it's uh, a lot to do with morality. What do I think of? I think of plant-based, Yeah. yeah. but like, yeah. No, like no meat at all, like yeah. not even egg, you know? Sure, sure, yeah, so I guess, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it seems like you think of it as more of like a diet than anything else. A lifestyle. A lifestyle? Yeah, so I would say veganism is more like a social justice movement, um, okay. getting rights for animals, just the right to like not be used by humans however right. we, we see fit. I went to a, a Catholic school, so a lot of teachings that they taught about people, I was kind of still figuring everything out, but I was yeah. like, that's weird that we can treat people this way, but when it comes to animals, it's just kind of brushed off. Do you like animals? You mean like, as far as a relationship or to eat? Both. I mean, I would never consider eating a dog, but I, I have no qualms eating a cow. Do you think that we should be able to treat animals however we want, according to our needs, or no? Absolutely not. Do you like animals? I love animals, and see, I was thinking about that, you know? Like, yeah. animals have feelings, and yeah. it feels bad, but... <laughs> well, so animals have feelings, you like animals. Uh, do you think if you like animals, does it make sense to pay for them to be chopped up? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> do you think there's, like, a difference in cows' abilities to feel, or do you think maybe it's cultural? When I was a child, we had cattle. Yeah, so we ate meat on a daily basis, and we didn't we didn't associate it with any kind of like the cattle. The cattle were there. We we're growing them to eat. It's crazy how I can just go to McDonald's and eat a burger and not think about the animal dying. The level of disconnection is like yeah. pretty crazy. And I mean, they did that on purpose. Absolutely. Like, and I mean, not only did they do that on purpose, but like when we look at, uh, like if you look at the advertising surrounding meat, first of all, it's like, oh, you have to eat meat to be a man, you know? And then it's also local, grass-fed, humane. 99% of meat in America comes from factory farms, but they don't want us to know that. So you see all these pictures of like happy cows and pigs, because that's what people want to believe. And people don't question it. Like I didn't question it for years because you see it everywhere, you know? On a scale of one to 10, how bad do you think it is for these animals in the meat industry? Oh, 10. 10? 10. 10. Okay. You're right. Yeah. Um, but some people think of it as like a happy, like kind oh, of- No, I don't think that is happy at all. And I think that most industries that use meat, they don't do it in a happy medium for the animals. So it's not like the animals are raised where they're psychologically healthy or anything right. like that. I feel like everything's kind of rushed and it's just an industry to get more and more meat. Do you think like the fact that you uh, were raising them to eat, does that make it okay to kill them? Yes. Okay, so why is that? Like for example, if I raised dogs, and I kept them in cages, and I cut off their tails, and then I ate them, would that be okay? Why do you cut their tails off to eat them? Oh, that's just what they do to pigs. Do you think humans need to eat meat or any animal products to survive and thrive? I mean, I feel like clearly not in this day and age because we have so many different like ways that we can supplement things that come yeah. from, you know, different meat sources, but you know, Iron is like a good type of thing to get from meat sources, you know, uh, thymine and things like that. So, I mean, I don't know. Would you trade lives with a pig or would you rather not exist? I'd rather they not exist. There have been times in human history where we've had to eat meat, right? And we're kind of in the first time period now where we have the understanding of nutrition that we need um, to have a healthy vegan diet. It was pretty recently that the American Dietetic Association said that a well-planned vegan diet is uh, nutritionally adequate for all stages of life, including pregnancy. So yeah, you're right that there was a time where we had to do it right. and that we don't necessarily need to anymore. So do you think you can get iron from plants? Of course. Okay. <laughs> of course. G get your spinach. Yeah. <laughs> get your foliage. So is there anything that you can't get from plants? Um, I don't think so. I think plants are basically magical, but you have to eat enough, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta eat enough calories for sure. The the thing that I do like to tell people about is B12 because that is only found in meat, but that's because those animals are supplemented with B12. It's it's just odd now you can see 
how certain chimps behave in the wild, some of them are using very, very abstract thinking. And like, there's this one picture, it was a super famous one, of this chimp that was hunting with a, a spear. It was spear fishing. And it's like, wow, that is insane abstract thought that an animal can have. I was raised on a farm with cattle, and to me their IQ is like a 10. They were really, really stupid. They don't, they don't, anything after like 20 seconds never happened to them. For us to just have this belief that we have authority over every animal in this world, it's like, no. It's kind of fucked up, huh? Yeah. Do you think intelligence determines worth of life? For example, you may be smarter than me. Would that mean that you could kill me? No. Okay, so how come we should be able to kill cows just because we're smarter than them if intelligence doesn't justify worth of life? because we raised them in the first place to eat. Sure, sure, sure. So let's say I raised a, a baby, say I had a baby. Okay. And I raised the baby, and then the baby was dumb, and then I ate the baby. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, no, it's not okay. It's not okay to eat children. So what's the morally relevant difference between a cow and a child. Species. Throughout history, throughout time, you know, say we look 200 years ago, white people essentially said that like black people don't matter because they're a different race. And then the circle of moral concern has grown to include black people. Same thing with men and women, right? Men were like, oh, women are only here for us. Their, their purpose is to serve us. And now we know that women uh, should also be treated with moral concern. Do you think it's possible that in the future, species will be one of the, the arbitrary factors and farm animals we will treat with moral concern in the same way we do with like cats and dogs? Oh, absolutely. Cows are here for our benefit. It, sure. But men use- For our like looking at them in the field. Right, right. Okay, so do you think that that's a good reason? For example, I could have said 150 years ago if I were a dude that a woman is here for my benefit, would that have been a good reason? If you were a dude, 150 years ago, and a woman's here for your better, no. Because men were saying that all the time. I understand. Sure, sure, sure. So, do you think using the same logic as people use to justify uh, sexism is a good idea? You can, you can be. I can be sexist and um, not want to eat a woman but want to eat a cow. Do you know anything about animal agriculture and climate change or pandemics? Um, the animal, like, in industry that I know about is just, like, horrible, right? Um, for the environment? For the environment, for us, for the animals, <laughs> for everything. <laughs> Do you like the taste of meat? Yes. Do you think maybe that's the biggest reason you would not want to stop eating meat would be for the taste? Because that was true for me. Correct. If you think it's horrible and you love animals, what do you think is the, like, are you interested in going vegan at all, or...? Um, not at the moment. Not at the moment. And what's the biggest barrier for you? The biggest barrier is, I guess, finances. Can you tell anyone watching to like and subscribe? Oh, absolutely. Natalie is the bomb. What would stop you personally from, like, just taking the leap and going vegan? The money, I guess. Oh, do you think it's more expensive? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm glad you brought this up because I, I thought it was more expensive too. I was like, I can't go vegan, I can't afford it. But I actually spend less money on food now. Cause really? yeah, cause when you go to the grocery stores, the cheapest foods there are like the beans, the rice, the veggies, oh, okay. uh, meat and dairy are expensive. And this study came out about a month and a half ago. It showed vegan diets are 30% cheaper than omnivore diets. So that's like a huge difference. Really? Yeah. I know. It's you talk me into it. <laughs> you, you, yes. you switch me over. Yeah. So you're going vegan? I'll, I'll try my best. Nice. I will absolutely give it a shot, yeah. Do you think sensory pleasure can justify violence toward a victim? No. So does, does that follow then that taste is not a good justification for violence toward animals? I guess so. Do you think that taste is worth more than the life of an animal? I have this dilemma. Yeah. And that I feel like we're omnivores mm. and not just herbivores. So sure, I feel like we should be very ethical to our animals and the products that we're eating. But somehow I do not think that means that we should eliminate it. You're equating 
a cow and having the same mindset as a human. No, 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 I'm not. Okay, so this is one thing that people get wrong about vegans, right? They think we're saying that animals are equal to humans. That's not what we're saying. We're saying that animals' lives have more value than humans' taste pleasure. Is that something you would agree with? Right, but you have to understand they wouldn't be there in the first place if that was the case. How's vegan chicken? I've never had like- It's so good. Is it really? Yeah, it's uh, so when you look at kind of the best meat substitutes right now, I would put chicken and ground beef at the top. I would never argue that humans are herbivores, uh, but do you think just because we can do something, like just because we can eat meat, does that mean that we should? Should we? Yeah, like just because we can. I mean, <laughs> just because we can, I mean like, when I go back into like, getting iron from vegetables versus getting iron from meat, it's harder to get it from the vegetables and things. So, <laughs> so I mean like our body, our body yeah. naturally metabolizes heme and things that's like yeah, in yeah. So you're animal product. You're you talking about the difference between heme and non-heme iron? And uh, you're right that it is a bit more bioavailable for heme, but the thing that Impossible Meat has done, which is really cool, is they've isolated heme. Okay. So if you're worried about getting heme iron specifically, you could eat Impossible Meat, okay. and that would be the same as eating meat. Okay. Yeah. That would be I, nice. I, I haven't had Impossible Meat. Oh, dude, it's good. Would you eat a cat? Uh, there's not really much meat associated with a cat. I've got some meaty cats at home. Do you really? Yeah. I've got a you farm of them. Invite me over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is, is there any world where you would go vegan? Is there anything that would have to happen? No. I, Why not? I don't care. I guess another thing would be like availability. Yeah. Is a word yeah. that I'm looking for. Like yeah. going. That's super important. Or something like. There's a website. It's called happycow.net. I'll write it down for you afterward. And it gives you, you can put in like your location and then it shows you all the best vegan options around you. People review them and rate them so you know that you're not going to get something like shitty. Thanks for talking to me. I hope that maybe I at least gave you some things to consider. Or maybe next time in the grocery store, you can just check out the plant-based section. Try it. Sweet Earth has some really chicken, or has some chicken that like, it's so good. If you put it in tacos, you would not know the difference. Oh, that, that would be great. I, I, I could understand that. I mean, I cook a lot of times with turkey. Um, in place of uh, ground meat, so I would, you know. Cool. Well, how about I give you like a little list of products to try and then we can start there. Let's we'll see it. I think an important thing when you're taking the leap is that like a lot of people in your social circle are not vegan, uh, so they may be hard on you. So if you have a strong online community that you can vent to, it, it makes a world of difference for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Cool. Well, do you have any more questions for me or should we uh, cut it or? No, I think I'm all good. You convinced me to be vegan. Yes. So I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm so glad I met you, man. All right, let's cut it here. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more street interviews, click to your left. If you want to learn about the history of animal farming, click to your right. Special thanks to my morally superior patrons, Amy, Andy, and Deepak.